Hi everyone. Uh, in this video series, I'm going to be creating a user contact, uh, contact management system. Uh, the other day I lost all the contacts on my phone, so I thought that would be a good application to put together. Um, this is going to be an extension of the basic PHP series that I did. Uh, so if you watch those videos, you should have a pretty good idea of how to do everything in this series. Um, so I am going to do a quick demo of what we're going to be building. Uh, so we have a login form here and if I type in the wrong password then I get an error message but if I get the correct password oops there we go then we get a form with the different categories and uh, the phone number which isn't really formatted very well but um, you'll get the idea uh, the, I'm not going to go through setting up the database I'm going to include that in one of the files that I uh, I send out with the files for this application um, and then same thing with the actually I may go through and build the CSS afterwards so haven't quite thought that out uh, already but I'm gonna log out and I'm gonna close this window and right now we don't have anything in our directory so if I op open my editor um, I'm gonna right click on my project folder create a new file I'm gonna call this index.php I'm also going to create the other files that I need. Um, so I'm going to create one for category.php, create one for contact, contact.php, and lists.php, which is going to be our list page that we just saw a few minutes ago. Oops, I'm going to add an S to that. Oops, rename. Okay. Oh, one more logout. I always forget the logout page. All right, so we have all of our base files, um, or all the files that are going to be uh, standalone pages, and then we're also going to create a new folder. Call this one includes, and then inside of includes, we're going to create a new file called header.php, a new file called forms.php and a new file for functions.php. Functions just want to make sure, oh, I forgot one last one, views. And views is just going to be um, an easy way for us to build a, a reusable um, formatter for some of our information. All right, so we have all of our all of our pieces set up. Um, I'm going to go back into my index page. I think I'm actually there. No, I take that back. All right. So in my index page, I'm going to create my PHP tags, and I'm going to start a session here using session start. Um, and the reason why we want to start our session here on our index page is we want to see if the person is actually logged in. Um, if they have not, then we want them to log in. Otherwise, we want to redirect them to the lists page. So I'm going to set up the base framework for that. So I'm going to do if there is no session logged in variable set, then I am going to do the login piece. Otherwise, so else. I am going to redirect them, so using the header piece location, to lists.php. And without going too much further into this, we really need to set up our forms, uh, so that way we have something to actually test against. And then we also need to set up our processing pieces for that. Um, so I'm going to stop right here, and I'm going to switch over to my forms.php page. And I'm going to set this up. So opening and closing PHP tags. And I'm just going to open up my cheat sheet that I have. Um, we're going to do function display login form. And I'm not going to put a body in these functions yet. Um, I'm going to fill them out afterwards. So display contact form. And I'm going to pass in a record. Um, this will make more sense in a, in a few minutes once I actually get to uh, using these forms. Uh, but the record is just going to contain all the information uh, for that particular contact uh, person. And I'm going to do the same thing 
display category form. And then we're going to pass in a record for that as well. All right. So now our login form, uh, we don't want it to be too specific as far as the uh, formatting goes. We want it to have a header. So I'm going to close the PHP tag. So I'm actually working in HTML now. And then H3. And I'm going to set up my classes so that way I don't have to go back through uh, when I do build my CSS page. Um, and I'm just going to do a gray BG as my class name. And I'm going to give it a login as the text to be, uh, be displayed. And then I'm going to use a form tag, give it a method of post. And action, I'm going to have it sent back to itself. So whatever page this form is actually being displayed on, then I'm going to send it back to itself. And then we're going to create a label for oops, username. And this is just targeting the ID of the element that we want to associate the label with. Uh, so we're going to use username. And then here we're actually creating the input type equals text name equals username and here is where the ID actually comes in that the label is associated with so we're gonna give username there so now we want to create a new div here and give it a class of clear which we're gonna be creating um, when we do our CSS stuff and so we're going to do a CLR, and this is going to, just going to be clearing both uh, left and right floated elements. And then we'll set up our label for password. And we'll put in our input type equals password. name equals pass, id equals pass, and value equals nothing. And again, we're just going to clear, oops, class equals clear. And then the last piece is our submit button. So we need to input type equals submit, name equals submitted, class equals green. BG and then again this is just for our styling uh, so you can actually leave this out if you wanted to your form will look a little funny but um, it again and, and once we get done building this application I'm gonna go through and set up the CSS but you're gonna see what it looks like uh, without using CSS to uh, once we go through this anyways so value equals login style equals margin dash actually I'm gonna leave this out for now um, I will have to come back and add that in. Uh, there's margin, uh, margin spacing just for this login form, um, but don't worry about that for right now. And our div class is clear, and this is just so that way our um, our formatting here, uh, our submit button doesn't actually move up into our uh, our wrapping element, uh, which I'll show you that in a little bit. Uh, so that's it for our login form. So I'm going to save that and go back over to my index.php page. And I am going to start uh, putting together this whole uh, piece here. Um, so I need to build a process login form, which I'm going to be passing the post data. Um, so if this is not, e if this equals true, then I want the person to be relocated to lists.php. So they've successfully logged in at this point. Uh, if that's not true, then we want to include once our header.php. Oops, and I gotta put in the path to includes. We're going to create a function for display error message. Login, oops, credentials. 
incorrect. And we're going to be wrapping our login form in a div with a class of form div. I know, I'm not really talking a whole lot. Uh, and then we're just going to call our display login form here. Nope, I actually skipped over a line here. I'm supposed to have if dollar sign underscore post. So if the post array contains the submitted uh, value, then do the process piece. Otherwise, we're going to do something else. So I'm going to tab this in to make it easier to read. Else, we are going to include once. Includes header.php. And we're going to echo, we're basically going to copy this right here. So it's just going to be wrapping that form div piece. Oops. I always grab the next line. All right. So I think that covers everything for this page uh, besides actually building the process login uh, form. Now, if I go back out to my browser and refresh, uh, call. I think I forgot to include my functions I did. So I'm going to include once includes slash forms.php and include once includes slash functions.php. All right, so that should set everything up for this page. And if I refresh, then we get a nice little login form here. Um, right now it's not doing anything. Uh, in the next video, I will go through and start building out the process login form, as well as uh, the majority of the other processing forms that we're gonna have. So uh, right now it's a very basic application. It doesn't have any database connectivity or anything like that, but we're gonna get into that in the next video. Uh, so definitely uh, stay tuned for number two.